For today, we are going to be making a white cake for our chocolate covered cake hearts. Uh, for the cake part, you will need uh, two cups of flour. Uh, unless you're using cake flour, you only need two and one fourth cups. Um, one and a half cups of sugar. Uh, hold on. You're going to need um, three and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Um, a half a cup of shortening. One cup of milk. Uh, one teaspoon of vanilla. And four egg whites. I uh, already separated those, and I'll show what those look like in a second. I'm going to need one teaspoon of salt. All right, let's begin. Three or four egg whites. Okay. Now we're going to set, get started. All right. So we're going to set our oven to 350, um, and we're going to grease and flour a pan. Uh, I'll tell you what size in a second. All right. What I did was I put butter on the pan and then I sprinkled flour all over this and then you throw out the excess. Um, I'm going to use two uh, round uh, pans. I got one here and then I've got one over there, right right there. Alright, let's start with the, the, the mixing, alright? So we're going to put our flour in, like so. Hold on. So we just added our flour. Now we're going to add our sugar to our bowl. Um, hold on, let me read my instructions. Baking powder. Um, salt. And your shortening. Add our shortening. Get all that shortening off. And then we're going to add. Um, you're going to take two thirds of your milk from your milk, and we're going to put it in here. And then your vanilla. And then we're going to mix it. All right. We're going to blend this a half a minute on low speed, and then after that I'll tell you what you got to do, okay? Okay, so now you're going to uh, beat this batter on high for about two minutes, and then we're going to add the rest of the ingredients, okay? So now we're going to add the milk, the rest of the milk, and now your separated egg whites. And we're going to mix this on high for about, mm, I think it said two minutes, but let me make sure, okay? Alright, so now we're going to mix it. It's on high for about two minutes. You're going to mix it until it's all incorporated, and then I'll take you to the next step, okay? And make sure you scrape the bowl while you go. It's two minutes on high. So what I did um, is I added uh, red food coloring to this to make it more valentine uh, uh, so it's like pink. Um, you don't have to add the food coloring, but I thought it would look nice, so I added the food coloring. Well, when you add the food coloring, you should do it when you're doing the eggs and the rest of the milk so that it incorporates. All right, um, I'll take you to the next step now. So now you're going to put uh, your batter in your pans, distribute them evenly in there, just pour it in, and um, I'll show what that looks like in a second. I, I don't want to show you pouring because... It's a little messy. Um, so just pour them evenly in your pan, okay? Your two cake pan. So to make it evenly, you're going to uh, tap your cake like this. And then it should be equal enough. And now we're going to stick these in the oven, and I'll tell you in a second what temperature, I mean, what how much time to cook it in, okay? You're going to put both of your cakes in. So if you have a timer like this, so you're just going to twist it and you're going to set it to 30 minutes 
if you got one on your oven, you can set it to 30 minutes. And you wait, and then I'll tell you what to do after the 30 minutes. Okay. Now you'll just have to wait for your cake. So we're gonna take we took our cakes out of the oven and now we're gonna poke in the middle uh there with a toothpick or a knife and if it comes out clean the cake is done. Let's see what, what it is. Well, as you can see it's clean, cake is done. Now you're gonna let the cake cool and then I'll take you on to how to make the other part of this tutorial, alright? So you're going to need um one and a half cups of powdered sugar, one tablespoon of butter, um, one teaspoon of vanilla, and now we're going to mix this, okay? For a cool down cake, um, you only need one round. Uh, you could decorate the other cake as a cake cake. We only needed one. I just didn't know how to make the recipe smaller. So we're only using one cake round. You can use the other cake round for uh, an actual cake. Alright? Uh, let's begin. You need uh, a little bit of milk for the moisture. Um, you're just going to pour the milk in and how thick you want. Th this frosting is to decorate your uh, cake hearts after they're decorated. Oh, and you're, yeah, yeah, to decorate them. Okay? Um, let's begin. Okay, so we're going to put all our ingredients in here that I just mentioned. Um, put your butter in, your powdered sugar. It's all out of here. And a little bit of milk. And then your vanilla. And we're going to take this to the mixer. Okay? After you got it all mixed, you're going to stick half of your frosting in a half a cup. And you're going to stick the rest of your frosting in either a, a frosting piping bag or if you have a plastic uh, seal bag that, that you put it in there. This is for the decoration. Okay? Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to crumble up the cake and I'll take it, I'll show you how to do that, okay? So you're going to cut your cake in fours like this. And then you're just gonna crumble each suction, like just break it apart and put it into a bowl. Alright? I'll show you what the crumb looks like afterwards, okay? Okay, so your crumb should look something like this. You're gonna take this and your um, half of frosting and you're gonna mix it, okay? In your mixer or whatever you got. So put your cake and your frosting is a half cup frosting and and we're gonna mix it alright it's something like this uh, now I'm gonna stick this in the freezer for about 10 minutes and I'm gonna play with it like cookie dough we're gonna make hearts out of these okay for this next step you're gonna need a heart shaped cookie cutter uh, red melting chocolate and regular chocolate and a rolling pin one of these guys and some wax and wax paper right here okay and then I'll take you to the next step okay so what you're going to do is take your dough out of the refrigerator I already pre-rolled and cut my thing you're going to roll them out and then you're going to cut your hearts out and you're going to get something like this um, I'll show you with this little bit that I had left. I thought I had more. Okay, so you're going to flatten it out with your hands. And then you're going to take your cookie cutter. And you're going to cut it out. And you're going to get a heart shape like this. Okay? 
And now you're going to uh, stick your hearts in the freezer for uh, 10 minutes. And they'll, you'll probably want, yeah, 10 minutes or an hour. Uh, if you found that your dough was a little uh, not moist, um, take it back to your mixer and add more frosting to it. All right? So now we're preparing our red chocolate for our um, melting hearts to make designs with. Um, you're going to put these in the microwave for about 30 seconds. So you're going to need red chocolate and then you're going to need uh, regular chocolate. Um, we're going to melt these for 30 seconds, okay? So if you see that your chocolate's not melting, um, You'll want to do it three times, and then you're going to stick it in a, a plastic bag, like we did with the frosting, so we can uh, make designs, or if you have a piping bag, and then uh, we're going to uh, cut a little hole, and then we're going to make hearts, okay? Now with your chalk with your little hole, you're, you're going to cut a little hole in the bottom, and you're, you're just going to make designs on a piece of wax paper, like you see there's a heart here, heart there, heart there, I love you here, squiggles, XOs, XOs, whatever you like um, for Valentine's Day. Or if you don't want to do a Valentine's Day theme, you can do whatever you like. Alright, now we're going to get the chocolate ready for the cakes, okay? Okay, we're going to do the same technique with the red chocolate. You're going to put your chocolate in here, like so. And we're going to melt it in the... Um, Microwave. If you have a little bit of shortening to make it a little creamier, you can put that in there. Um, mi microwave it until it melts, okay? Okay, so um, you're going to dip your uh, heart into the chocolate and coat it like so. And then you're going to tap off the excess. And you're going to let it harden, okay? And repeat the process until they're done. So your chocolate hearts are done. Um, now you can either stick them in the freezer so they can get hard. And then when they're done getting hard, then you may decorate them with your leftover frosting that we stuck in um, the bag. Or your red decorations over there. These guys right here that you just did earlier. Alright? But they have to harden up in the refrigerator so you can add things to them. Alright? And I'll take you to the next step. Now we're going to put on our decoration. Um, you're going to cut the this piece off your um, frosting. Like so. And we're just going to uh, glue the red chocolate on with your frosting. You could also decorate with the frosting. But this should keep it in place. Alright? And then just stick it on your heart. Like so, and it's decorated. See? And you can like put dots on your hearts. You can decorate your hearts any way you want. And thanks for watching this very long tutorial about making cake heart, chocolate covered cake hearts. Alright? Thank you for coming.